Hello and welcome to Billy's Craft Room. In today's video I'd like to share some art books with you. Big, big thanks to Jane Davenport. Something I've always wanted to do, even when I was young, was to be able to sit under a tree with a sketchbook and a pencil and create. Now, I used to go um, and visit buildings and draw architecture and that sort of thing. Um, and that was great, but since I've been indoors um, for health reasons, um, that's not been possible. And I found out about Jane Davenport and her classes have been amazing. Um, she's got, these are two of the books of hers that I've got. This one's called Drawing and Painting Beautiful Faces. Um, and it backs up an online art class. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but let's talk about supplies. Um, did I do that all off shot? That was foolish, wasn't it? <laughs> Anywho, it's a beautiful book in and of itself, talking about different art supplies and shading and techniques. Um, but highly recommend Jane Dunport. Brilliant teacher. Um, if you've always wanted to draw and think you never can, she's your girl. She's really encouraging. Another of her books, again backing up an online class, is Drawing Fabulous Figures. My faces were doing okay, they needed some bodies. This was the book to get me there. I have to say I haven't done enough practice with this book to achieve what I'd like to, but then art's like that. It takes some time to learn. Gonna be a bit scared now and show your sketchbook. Hashtag scared face. But from not being able to put a face together at all to that, I'm happy. I'm happy. I've got further than I have done with any other art class, so I'm really happy. This next book, Pick Candle, I Love You. I don't know, I'm going to say that a lot in, in these videos, so yeah, fangirl. Um, a friend of mine told me about Pit Candle, who has a channel also on YouTube, which I've had a look at, and is absolutely brilliant. If you're looking to just have you and a sketchbook, and whatever pen you've got around the house, drawing on the back of an envelope, drawing on the back of junk mail, if you haven't got fancy access to fantasy sketchbooks, using the biro from your kid's pencil case, this is the book for you. Um, there's plenty of really lovely art supplies you can get, but to get started, literally any pen will be fine. Um, the characters in this book are really cute. Um, and if you can draw basic shapes like a circle, a square, a triangle, you're going to create something wonderful. Even, even if you're not going to be drawing what's in here, just flipping through and the cute characters that are in here, they're going to give you a smile. So just for a happy like that, this book works for me. Um, see if we can turn it over for an ISBN number. Is that in focus? I hope so. Um, but brilliant person, brilliant book. I liked it so much she had more in the series. And yes, they came home with me in 2020. Um, in this one, they're going to different places around the world. So you've got landmarks. Um, and then food that you might find in those countries. A little bit more involved drawing in this one, and there's a few more characters, but all seriously cute. Seriously cute. The next book by the same author is Kwai Doodle World. This is taking the same idea you've learned in the previous two books and taking them to another level. 
they've done things like I don't know what the word is I would say collage but I don't know if that's the right word basically grouping them together oh here we go let me show you this page that would be easier wouldn't it it's like the other books it's telling you what Kwai is um, how to use the book the tools which all the books have had um, tips and tricks doodle directory is the basic core shapes that they use throughout this book um, they've got how, grouping Kwai characters so rather than having just one or two on a page maybe with a quote this is I really don't know what the word is I want to say tessellating but that's not the word but like they've done on the cover basically having filling an entire page with your characters um, show you a couple of pages in this book there we go like that oops Spatial awareness, not my superpower, got to be honest. I mean, broccoli with a face, how cute is that? Seriously. This next book, there's, there's, two, there's more than these two in this series. Um, one of these books I got on really well with, yes, it's this, yeah, this one. This one, quite how to draw really cute stuff by Angela, and I'll let you read her name because I've mashed names in the past and let's not do that today. Um, love this book. Absolutely love it. Um, why? Because it's got absolutely step by step. Um, let me try and find, yeah, see like this, um, you've got every single step, you've got the character you're aiming for, but it's broken down into all the individual shapes, so what size shape, where to put it and where they're layered. This has been a brilliant book um, and they're not just in one pose, they're in various poses so it's the same with the other characters as well so you've got a couple of finished poses and then all the individual shapes that went in to create that once you understand this part you can then say well okay if I change where the ears were I could move the eyes up a bit I could move the nose up a bit and the cat could be looking up or the cat could be looking down um, I could rotate this round um, make this a little bit taller up here, bring the head up, bring this round, turn that, um, and I've got a cat that's sitting down. You can see the building blocks that went into making the shape, and once you've you've practiced that for a little while, um, it makes it easier then to see how you could take these shapes and tweak them to your own design. So this one I absolutely loved, and there's lots of really cute animals in here. Let me find the index page. Is there an index page in this one? Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> here it is. Here it is. That's the page I was looking for. Uh, cute people. Here's a list of cute creatures. And the little cute thing. I mean, a puffer fish. How cute is a puffer fish? Um, love this book. Loved it so much. I went for this one. The reason I struggled with this one. I mean, the 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 idea. It started with the same concept. With, we're taking basic shapes um, and then altering them to get the various animals and that's fantastic what I struggled with in this one let me show you the animals in here first hamster, duck, hedgehog, cat, fox, mouse raccoon, rabbit, dog, cow, goat, sheep, pig, chicken horse, wolf, bear, kangaroo Oh, did I get the dot ones? Do you see dot ones? There we go. 
um, deer. How cute is that deer? You can make Christmas cards with that deer or tags. That'd be so cute. Owl. I love the owl. He's actually quite hard to draw. I got a bit stuck with the owl, but he was really cute. Armadillo. I know I can't say that without a silly voice. Just one of those things. Llama. Gotta love a llama. Um, there's a bat, koala, red panda, camel, dinosaurs, monkey and gorilla. Oh, there's loads. Okay, I'm not going to read them all out because my reading out loud is not the greatest. So, quick skinny. If you want to um, flip through the whole book, there's a video channel called Colour with Claire. Um, and it was her videos that inspired me to get this book. Quite a few of these books, actually. Um, thank you, Claire. Big love. But, yeah, why I struggled with this one is rather than showing you the entire core shape, it's like they s took some steps away and they've just gone with the outline. Um, which I didn't find as helpful. Skill fail for me, perhaps. Not sure, but yeah, it's... It was like they took too many steps away for me. <laughs> like the rabbit, look. Um, I mean, I, I get that they're really alleged simple shapes, but yeah, without the framework first, getting the right sizes of shapes together. Yeah, I didn't go, I didn't, I didn't fare so well with this one. Um, it's still a lovely book. Um, if your skill level is, is better than me, I'm sure you'll be fine. I would, it was, I did see, yeah, there's not so many steps. You're supposed to have improved since the first book, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's, look, the, the deer is still super cute. Um, but I needed more steps. Um, but it's still a lovely book and there's still really cute um, creatures in there. And I'm still glad I got it. But for a full flip through, check out Colour with Claire. Joanna. Joanna Bass Bassford. Sorry, mashing another name. Oh, what am I like? Joanna has some really wonderful colouring books on the market. And recently she's done a series called... Is it Inky Art School? It was Christmas related and it was Inky Art School, something like that. But she has a channel on YouTube, check it out. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description on this. Um, anywho, um, if you're limited on supplies um, and can just get some nice paper, printer paper if that's all you've got, yeah, go with it. Um, a fine liner pen or a black, pe black pen a pencil and eraser and you're good to go. Joanna shows you how to draw beautiful things in this book and you can then layer them together to make borders, backgrounds, wonderful things. Um, yeah, really beautiful book. Um, Again, it's one of these books that takes you absolutely step by step how to draw the base shapes to get the finished flower and then a lot of different styles that you can then layer up in your choice of ways for your art projects. You can use these, I can see you could use these um, to embellish journals, to make bookmarks, cards with scrapbooking. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lovely book. I love this book. Absolutely love this book. Fish. If you saw my earlier video, I've got a thing about drawing fish at the moment. It's so soothing. It's <laughs> so easy to draw. Joanna, forgive me for showing a page about how to draw fish, but honestly, it's so soothing drawing fish. I know that sounds mad, but seriously. More pleasures in life at my, right now, yeah. 
And also that it's it's not just the main creatures then, you've got the, the background type objects as well, so like shells and you know, this type of thing that you can use around the edges for borders and backgrounds. I mean you can put your own sentiments in there, so if you're someone oops, hashtag not in shot. Um so if you're someone who likes lettering and quotes, you can totally use this with that project. So yeah, that would be my favourite books. If I could only buy three just for something really easy, I would go with this one because you can take it in so many different directions. Um, literally scrapbooking, journaling, if you're into your lettering, calligraphy or um, brush lettering, that's going to be fantastic. If you're looking for curl up on the sofa, dead simple, that one. And anything, any of the pit candle books, because they're all awesome. If you're looking for something a little more serious, you want to get into shading. Sorry, slightly distracted. There was a flock of red wing flew over. <laughs> I'm sitting by the patio doors and it's like, oh, birdies. I can't move the camera quick enough to show you. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> Hashtag squirrel. Um, if you're looking for improving your drawing in a more realistic style, then Jane Davenport and her online classes are a good way to go. Oh, did you want to see the journal page for Pit Candle? There we go. There we go. I'll share my drawings. Scared. <laughs> but yeah. And if you want to know the paper I'm using, Yay for W. H. Smith. This is one of their basic ones. There's 50 sheets in here. I've gone for a spiral bound on this one, but they do them with just glue bound. So if you want sheets that you can tear off without getting a jaggedy edge, they are available. Um, this one's A4, um, but they do them in A5, which is half that size. And I think they might do them in A6, which is a quarter of that size. But it's 50 sheets, 135 GSAM. This one's A4 and it's acid free, so it's not going to yellow with age. Um, fine with pencils. Um, I have got on okay with it using Micron pens. Um, but things like the Faber Castell brush pens did go a little bit furry and the paper paper doesn't take wet media so well if I show you that drawing from the Jane Davenport one the where I've gone over this this area on the face with a few layers um, I think I did that with Neocolor crayons the water soluble crayons by Caran Dash um, because I've gone over it a few layers wetted it let it dry and then gone over with more layers the paper did start to lift um, that said they do also do a 300 GSA 300 GSM um, sketchbook um, and that one has it's still acid free paper I think it's a bit more textured it is a bit more textured so it's not going to be quite so kind to fine liners but if you want to be throwing paint um, and a lot of wet media at it that was that's quite a good way to go so i hope you've enjoyed today's video please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell if you want to be notified when i post new videos thanks for watching see you soon bye bye for more inspiration please visit the blog on www.billyscraftroom.wordpress.com